In this video, I'm going to show you how you could calibrate your measurements by using the known diameter of a circle. So here we have a couple of plastic parts. They're moving around. I'm just going to locate one of them right now. Okay, so I'm going to use Pat Max pattern. I'm going to take the model region, put it around our part. Okay, I'm going to say find part. I'm not worried that there's two parts. We're just going to look at one just because it's a demonstration. I'm going to set the rotation to 180. See, does it track around my part? Yes, it does. Okay. So I'm going to say, let's measure this part right here. Uh, let's go in, pick distance. And I'm going to pick this side and this side. I would zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to neaten this up a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to pick midpoint to line. Okay, so it snaps across perpendicular. So we're getting, it looks like a decent measurement. Let's see, is it tracking it around? Yes. It's always staying pretty much the, the same amount of pixels. Okay. So around 60 pixels, but we have no idea what 60 pixels means. Say I know the uh, diameter of this, let's say it's 30 millimeters. Well, I can find out what this is in millimeters by knowing this other dimension. So if we go up to setup image, calibration type, I pick circle and I'm going to say select circle, pick this circle, I'm going to hit okay. And I'm going to tell it what it is, 30 millimeters. I'm going to hit enter, calibrate. Okay. And now instead of me getting this back in pixels, I'm getting it back in millimeters. Notice my range limits aren't good anymore because they were set for pixels. So this looks like it's about 19 and a half millimeters. Let's say it's 19 and a half plus or minus a millimeter or plus or minus half a millimeter even. So let's say 20 at the upper range and 19 at the lower range. And let's see how that works. Yeah, looks good. So we're looking at 19 and a half millimeters plus or minus half a millimeter. And it's passing in all these instances because there's no defect part here, but it's getting our measurement back and we're getting it back in a unit that we'd like. So that is how you can calibrate off a circle.